Welcome back to a very basic space program. This is episode 78, I think. Um, in this episode, we're going to be going to Phobos. We're probably going to see if we can go back into orbit around Deimos. And uh, then I'll make some other decisions about those craft. And we also got a load of science we need to spend. So um, please join me. Right, so we have first of all got a load of science to spend that we have picked up from uh, from the, the the Deimos mission, I think, and some other bits. I think some of the Venus missions and things like that have been ongoing with the science. Um, and I'm trying to decide what to do. I think um, we could go for the LK lander. I don't know if that actually, that used to have a mesh problem. Um, we could go for the VAV capsule parachute. Looks interesting. Um, probably need some heat shields for lunar rated stuff um big heat shields would be probably positive we could go for early space stations get the skylab orbital stuff i want to go i think i was tempted to go special wasn't i i think i'm tempted to still do that so what do i need for that that needs to come through what else do i need for special it's done ah we can only go up to 150 okay so we need to upgrade the research that's not an issue maybe we hold off then Basic life support that's going to give me vacuum scrubbers. So we'll, we'll actually, we will get that. We'll get the vacuum scrubbers. Um, do we want better uh, solar panels and stuff like that? Yeah, we'll get a bit of that actually while we're at it. Um, and then I think that's a spent up. Yeah, so we want to have a look and just check if we've got that upgrade for the research on the way. We do not have that research underway. However, that research is going to cost me 4 million. I think we're going to hold off starting it just now until we get the um, until we get the Demos the the Demos the Phobos mission done. Is there anything else that I can Demos landing? Did we just do a Demos landing? Oh, we've got to put a new craft together. That gives us a lot, so we could actually just keep doing stuff for that. How long does that give me? Four years. I'm tempted to do that and do that off camera because that gives us like a million. Um, what have we also got? Is there anything else? Is there anything else sort of flybys? We've got Lunar Rover. Yeah, well, first crew, to, we definitely took, thank you. We definitely need to work on that. What have we got active at the moment? Uh, we have uh, Phobos landing. Venus landing is going to happen. Venus that, Venus that's going to come in. That's going to give us millions. I don't know if it's enough for what I want to do, but we'll see. Um, Jupiter orbital probe. We need a new one of those. Uh, atmospheric probe that's going to be in after Ooh, that's going to be interesting I, i'm tempted to put something together for that just to try it um oh, we've got flybys where are the flybys where, where are the flybys we've got landing where's the flyby there we are right do we have oh you don't get a flyby for for the bodies that's annoying isn't it they do, they do give you a lot though uh mercury landing oh that'd be nice all right i think I think I'm actually going to take the Demos landing. We know we can do it. Um, we can send a craft again. We can send like a, a another one of those. Put it down maybe in a... I don't know if there's biomes on Demos anymore. I think they got rid of them. But uh, for a million, we'll check how much it costs to launch. I think we should be okay. In fact, what we could do is just do it um, anyway. And I'll put that in the build queue because we're not building anything at the moment anyway. Um, and I may have taken it at the wrong time because we may not have a window. So yeah, let me check the windows. We have a window in 600 days. I believe it's this window here. Yeah. Uh, which will take uh, not too much. Should be a reasonable sort of uh, craft to go for. So we'll do that, I think. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just we'll put together another one of those craft that we've already sent to Mars. And that can be building. Because we currently don't have anything building because of the way we're, we're running the series at the moment. It's not efficient. Not efficient at all. We're in 74. We haven't landed on the moon. It's terrible. Right, I'm going to put that craft in. Then I think we will go and have a look at Phobos. Right, so we are here with Marth's Pathfinder 3, which will probably end up changing to uh, Phobos Pathfinder or something like that. I know we've, we've got the Deimos Pathfinder now. Um, I just pointed out, I wanted to point out that we've got the Pathfinder, Mars 4 and 5 being built primarily just because I've got I've got the ability to build craft and they cost about 20,000, 30,000 funds to build. We're going to get missions to to do stuff like land on on some of these moons and stuff we can run a few in the background and it will give us a like a hopefully about a million funds for each one so i'm, I'm guessing we'll get another full boss one hopefully it also means we can put together um communications around mars because these things will actually act as relays if we need them uh, so that's that's an option so anyway let's get rid of that off the screen get rid of everything you can see we've got the uh 
a few things coming up, primarily the Venus mission in, in 94 days, but it's not a big thing. Right, so we're gonna I'm gonna move this forward now to its next uh, maneuver. And what I'm gonna do is I'm putting it into that time warp and then we'll do that. There we go. Um, and this should bring us down and then we're gonna try and put ourselves, uh, hopefully, let's have a look, yeah, 0.1, hopefully into uh, some sort of interesting, yeah, we're gonna put ourselves into a slightly higher orbit. I remember this now. So we're gonna put ourselves into a slightly higher orbit than the moon of interest because I can't remember which one's smaller, Phobos or Deimos. I think I think Deimos is smaller. So that could make this quite difficult actually thinking about it because I used the RCS to land last time. Uh, we're going to delay that. We're going to close that. Right. Um, we're going to warp to there, I think. Yeah, just warp to there. We're going to get in close. Um, we should be able to see Mars. There we are. Look at that. There's Mars. Hello, Mars. Right. Um, let's approach you. Can we go a little bit closer? Yeah, just a little bit closer, a little bit time-wise closer. Then we'll swap it onto the node and we'll just do the burn. The burn does not have to be massively accurate. Uh, that is not a big problem for us. Um, we just need to get near near to accuracy. We need to, we need to get into that orbit primarily. That's all I'm really caring about. Um, it doesn't need to be massively perfect. Uh, you know, I've been playing a lot of stock recently and Mars here compared to Duna in stock, this is such a beautiful image compared to Duna. I, I, I commented in one of my previous um, recent, actually, episodes about from a hard and uncut that the Duna there has got these white poles that just stand out. It looks like somebody's painted them on. Well, obviously they have. It's not a real place, obviously. Um, well, we better get this uh, sorted out pronto, get it, get it orientated at least. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this for orientation, then we will disengage and go for the thing, go for the fire. So what I will actually do is we'll disengage this now. Let's just check what we're doing. A contract complete. That is the Demos landing. Yeah, we got that. Wonderful. Um, when I put this on, right, we're going to do the decoupling, I think. And then we get that thing happening. Do that. Wonderful. That's just going to sit there. It's going to be just in its eternal sort of orbit. Um, there we go. Get this firing uh, node, please, and RCS. Oh, hello. Hold on a second. What's going on? Would help if we turned on the avionics, wouldn't it? Yep, that would be the thing that we've missed. There we go. That's brilliant. We'll just get that back. I thought we had another massive failure there, but obviously it was just me who was the failure. It was the it was the biological component was the failure there. That's wonderful. So yeah, you know, still we're still missing it, and um, we still got that odd balancing thing. I must look up, and I, I have mentioned this in the last episode, I must look up the um, the mod that was mentioned for actually doing the, uh, for getting the, the small engines at Gimbal. Um, thank you for those that suggested it. Um, I will go and have a look. I don't know if it's in stock. Um, if it is, and I've missed it, brilliant. Yeah, again, it might be that it's now in stock and it wasn't or whatever. This is a 1.10 install and it's now, you know, it's now like a year old. I could actually go and check while this burn is happening. Let me just go and have a look. You know, just, you know, not, not that it's important or anything. Just uh, go and have a look and, and see what's going on. So the earliest that I have video wise for this is, when am I going back to? Um, or was it October? Well, that's interesting. Maybe that's not the earliest that I have. I probably deleted some. Um, I could go back and check the archives, but uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's check the archives while you're watching this burn. I am just messing around because that's what we do. Yeah, that's good. Um, so my archive, Kerbal. You, now you're getting an insight into everything that I do. Uh, let's have a look. Um, right, so that's that's when I transferred it. Okay, that's not going to work for me then, is it? No, it isn't. Um, so I can't actually see how old this is. I could go back and look on YouTube. I'm not going to go back and look on YouTube. Um, go back and look on YouTube and tell me how long has this series been going? I don't know. Um, surely, surely it's been going a long time. I'm, I'm thinking we're on episode 78. I used to do two episodes a week. Then we jumped on one episode a week. Um, so it must be at least seven or eight months. Right, let's have a look. Is that is that orbit coming down? Uh, now you'll notice it is actually uh, potentially going to have a quite a while to to do catch up on this. So we're going to do that. Let's have a let's look here. Right, and then what we could do is we could do a little inclination change. So let's do that because um, we've got these are so far apart. I'm never going to get a thing. So let's do the let's actually do this now. Let's do the aligned planes. Yeah, let's do that. And then I'm actually going to execute it straight away. I think. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. 
this is this is potentially going to be a long time until we get a, a rendezvous because you notice they're basically opposite each other in their cycles right now and the orbits are not much different so this this could take you know 100 days could take 300 days it could be, i don't know how long it's going to take us could take us a lot of orbits to actually get this done uh come on where are we come on do do the do the things there we go. We're going to go into time warp. Do we want to go into? There we go. Sometimes you have to uh, with the with the mechjab actually to abort abort maneuver, start maneuver again just to get it to come up. And you can see we are literally. So that's going to catch up with us, and it will be interesting to see how long. So that was how long was that? that was a few hours. That's going to be yeah. It's going to take time, isn't it? Mm. We're not in a tight orbit. We're very sort of we're very we're quite far out. Obviously. Um. There we go. Just do that. Perfect. What's my inclination? Wonderful. Going to build that up. Right, next one, as I always do it, we'll put a maneuver there. I'm gonna pull this back and we should get an interaction. Okay, that's fine. Right now we're gonna go forward in the cycle. There we go. Oh, hello. Go that way. Right, and then we've do we do this? How does that look? Where's it gone? <laughs> okay, maybe maybe not enough. Of the pulling back on that one okay we'll do a bit more like that is it going to give me an encounter where's my encounter gone oh there we are right okay okay oh because we're not in a oh hello what's that that looks that looks juicy uh go go back one is that back one and then go to the no no go to that one and that one there we are right what's that gonna look like get me let me have a look Okay, separation, 104. Okay, go, go down, go down, go down. Go, uh, 40, was that 40? No, go back to that, right. Let's play with that one. Um, wrong way, a bit more of that. Well, no. Oh, we've got an encounter, that's why. Okay, so if I, if I focus view, let's have a look at this encounter. We want to get... We shouldn't require much in the way of delta v to actually capture this because it is so small but let's have a look uh, a little bit of we're going to come in reasonably close i think uh do that there we go within five with this one if i'm within five kilometers that could become problematic let's let's just go in yeah that see oh look four busters look cool isn't it that's going to be interesting like that because it's not spherical you know, you could potentially, if it's spinning, you could hit this bit by being at that altitude. Right. I think that's our maneuver. So that's in. Oh, that's not bad. It's in. Um, it's in one day. I thought it was going to be longer than that. I thought it was going to be days and days and days. Okie doke. And it's not much of a burn at all to get that to get that rendezvous. We've done most of our, you know, used most of our delta v already up. When we're actually just in the the, the refining stage right now. So we're going to do that there, and I'm going to do that. And uh, how many orbits is this going to do us? That's going to be interesting. I should really jump back to the craft. That was an interesting thing. That's going to look interesting in the in the video. So we've now got Daisy Daisy. So you can see, yeah, it's catching up with us now on that. Uh, if I do that, you can see that Phobos is catching us. And then we're just going to do a dip down to it and go for it. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, that's interesting. It's interesting sometimes because of the scale of these things, you just do not see when you have actually have an encounter. Um, I'm going to... Am I going to get this to do it? Yeah, we're going to, you know what? We've been, we've been using MechJeb. We'll get MechJeb to do it. I know a lot of people uh, like the use of MechJeb for things. It's nice and easy, plug and play, kick, click the button and off it goes. So we're going to do that for this. I wonder if I could do an entire mission with just MechJeb. That would involve me having to launch it with uh, PVG or whatever it's called, which, um, you know, I know I get comments. Why don't you do it? Because um, I don't. Um, so I would have to do that. So I'd have to actually figure out how to use it properly instead of just you know oh it doesn't work i don't like it um but i wonder if we could do that we could actually use the stuff to do it i do know for landing it can be quite interesting um and there we go wow so we should be coming into we're going to pop you into there oh no because you can't have that on right we're going to slowly bring you in right what's the what's that in three hours okay okie dokie uh, there is the relay there so that's cool we've actually got that relay so that's the relay that we previously had stuff going on with um we're still getting venus stuff that's nice isn't it right now i don't know how long we're in sphere so that's 23 minutes 20 okay so we do actually spend a bit of time we spend quite a bit of time actually in sphere of influence 
It's a bigger sphere of influence than I thought it was going to be, actually. Oh, hello. Why is time warp cancelled? What's happened? What's going on? What is occurring? Oh, well, it is the automatic timer. Should have remembered that. We do actually have, of course, we have, because I haven't turned it off, the generation of automatic timers, which, you know what? I, it annoys me, but it's also a nice safety me meta, 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 safety feature. don't know where meta came from. Safety feature, because having that turned on, I could have actually just time warped straight through that if I wasn't if I wasn't looking properly. And sometimes when commentating, that is what happens because you become distracted. All right, let's have a look. It's amazing how close we are. So we're just literally going to parallel park right now, aren't we? Right, here we go. Just let me pop. Oh, we're, we're in. We're in, okay. So I need to uh, add maneuver. And we've got, what, seven minutes? Um, do this one. Do a bit of that. Uh, what? Is that just, that's just turned it around the other way, hasn't it? Okay. Wow. Um, I think I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that. So thank you. Good. Wonderful. We're actually getting the warning now for leaving that sphere of influence. I don't want to do that. I want to go. Is that? Is that? Really? Can I just, you know what? Warp to there and put me on retrograde. We'll just do it manually. It's easier. There we go. Right. Manual, manual burn time. Uh, let's see, we've got a nice nice maneuverability with this craft. Uh, and what we can do is we should be able to see this... Uh, where is it? Oh, is it, not? Is it gone? Oh, it's because we're, we're within range. Um, there we go, just fire that. We're going to watch our orbital speed drop. We don't want it to go below zero because that would just get annoying. Uh, thank you. And that I knew that was going to turn up. There we go. Because we changed the time until we departed. Uh, yeah, we got that. Now, what do we need to do for this mission? Let's have a look. Where are we? Phobos. We've got, oh, we've already orbited Phobos. We've already done a flyby. So this is a landing. We have to go for landing on this one. Okay. Um, where do I want to land? It's a good question. Uh, let us let us warp to here. I think. Oh, it rolls. Oh, it is rolling. Um, okay. Um, that becomes more interesting. I didn't realize it did that. Um, then I want to be on the sunny side. Uh, actually, we'll just yeah put us in retrograde. Let's. What's my thrust to weight looking like? Is this better than? Thrust is six hundred. I don't know if we can land with uh, with RCS. That is interesting. We might be able to. We might not. This might be a, a quick landing. Um, oopsies. Uh, let's just, um, we'll do that. We'll just do that. There we go. We'll just pull it. We'll just pull it to there. I, I want to land in the sunlight, um, ideally. Um, not there, but that'll do. Right. Warp to there. Come on. Oh, here we are. Right. Ooh. Ooh, this is, ooh, this is horrible. Oh. Oh, wh where, where is Mars? Where is Mars? Where are you, Mars? You're not there. Okay. Um, that is that is a horrible a horrible image, isn't it? Right. Um, get rid of the rendezvous planner. We don't need that. Okay. Where's the actual height map? Uh, let's have a look. What does my thrust do with? Well, oh, that's not bad actually. That's not bad at all. We can yeah we can land that. Right. So we're gonna come down. Um, have we got our scientific influence instruments running? Are they are they doing it? Start everything. Run everything, please. Thank you. Right. I don't know if I set this up, actually, to have... It's got battery. It doesn't matter. Um, to actually have the ability to... Ooh! Uh, darkness! What happened? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Don't like that. Why, why are we in dark? Are we in... Ooh, we might be... We might be eclipsed. We'll only know when we land. So that doesn't mean that Mars is right above us right now? Right. I could fire the main engines... If I so intended, I don't want to. What's 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 going on? Yeah, we're in. Oh, we're in eclipse. How exciting! Does that happen often? I don't know. Right, let's fire some engines. Let's get this thing slowed down a bit. So we're going to put ourselves into surface uh, negative. There we go. There we go. Because of course we're going to we're going to land relative to the surface, and of course Phobos spins quite considerably. We've seen that already. That uh, 
Phobos is a bit of a spinner. We saw that when we were coming around. That, that is a quite a high degree of spin. Very Gilly-like, actually. Gilly has a nice high speed of spin. Well, huh, is it? I don't know. Right. And, of course, Gilly is in an entirely different star system. This is in a game. This is real. This is all real. All of this is real. Right. Um, 300 meters up. Have we sent... I don't think the people... Have, I, don't, I don't think we've had a successful probe to Deimos and Phobos. Um, I wonder why not. Maybe it's just Deem not important. I don't know. Was it... Um, was it the Grunt mission was there? Was it Phobos Grunt? I can't remember. Did it go? Was there a problem? Was there a, was there an issue? I can't remember actually. This is, I'm, I'm, you know, that's terrible. I should have researched this before we actually tried to land on Phobos. Um, let's go down a bit more. I mean, we could land now and it wouldn't be a problem at this speed. Let's be entirely honest. What I should do is actually try and kill all of the lateral because that is horrendous, quite simply. Um, if I take this to, yeah, one meter, one meter per second is, is very slow. <laughs> it is very slow. Right. Um, let's take it to, I don't know, there. Yes, let's go there. Right, here we go. We're, we're preparing ourselves. It's, it's a very important, difficult situation. Um, I'm going to turn you off. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to just do that. Right. We're basically docking right now with the with the planet. That's uh, very nice. Um, actually, surface negative. Go back on it. The interesting thing about this, you can actually go see the stock one. Uh, you are limited to as long as you have a velocity uh, difference of one meter per second. But Smart ASS, uh, it will actually let you do it less than that. So, so that, there's a bonus to having it there. I was going to go to stock, and then I realized that's not going to actually help us. Wow, we're really we're really progressing. It's it's really good that it's in the dark as well because I think it really makes it much more impressive, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We are going to time warp this thing. We're going to time warp this thing when we get down because I want some sunlight on this thing. Of course, we don't have solar panels, so that's not a big issue. But uh, yeah, here we go. We're just we're, we're literally docking. We are literally going to dock. In fact, we've lost the maneuver because uh, da, 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 off. No, 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 no. Nope. No, 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 no. We surface positive because we're now going up. Oh, we got. See what we did there was. Yes, that's right. Brilliant. We're now we're now bouncing. This this never happens to NASA, does it? Uh, does it? I don't think it happens to NASA. No, we just slow it down. Slow it down. There we go. Right, surface negative. Put me on surface negative. The problem is we've got so little gravity that we're actually... I'm going to push it down. There we go. Maybe it's better if we do actually have a bit of velocity when we hit down. Um, are, we, are we coming down? Turn that off. Right. And we're gonna we're gonna dock. We're literally gonna just dock it. There we go. Dock it down. We should have put landing legs on this. You know, I, I, it's cheeky that I didn't put landing legs on it. Right. Turn that off. Are we down? Are we stable? Have we completed a mission? How do I how do I do the mission? Oh, I've got to transmit science, haven't I? Right. Okay. Uh, what is our science stuff looking like? Are we transmitting data? Is it good? Phobos landed. Yeah. There we go. Right, so I think Phobos, is Phobos bigger than Deimos? It feels heavier, but maybe, actually no, maybe Deimos was harder to do it on. I think I think this is actually probably an easier, a much softer landing. Right, um, we're going to timey-wimey warp this, I think. Just get it timey-wimey warped up a bit. Come on, what are, what are we doing? How are we doing for, um, how are we doing for electricity is important, I suppose. Oh, we are, we are we're gaining electricity. Okay, so we're, we're doing okay. Uh, what have we got running? Because we can't run that because you can't do it landed. That's interesting, isn't it? So what we will do is we'll actually we'll gather all the science from this. We've got our I've got our mission completed. There we go. So that is a nice chunk of the sciences. Well, not be seven science, but we get a big chunk of funds, and that's a big bonus for us. And um, you know, you're thinking, well, your, your mission's done, isn't it? Well, it's not. It's not actually done. Oh, the sun is back. How exciting! The police have come past to. Uh, if you hear that in the background, they've come past to celebrate with us for our our hard work and, and getting all this done. Uh, we've got to run this for thirteen days, is it? 
yeah, we've got 13 discs. So what we'll actually do is we're gonna we're gonna run this forward. Hey, look at that. Um, we should be able to do this for 13 days. Um, it should have the required. Yeah, it does we we have enough power being su supplied here uh, to to do this? Four days, three days, two days, oh, one day, and done. Wonderful, right? So we have all of the science now off this. Have we got any data actually waiting to be transmitted? No, we got rid of all the data as well. What's our science numbers looking like? Two hundred again. Right now, oh, actually, that's what I was going to do. That's what I was going to do. We're going to have a look at uh, what's this say? Surface surface you know what we don't have we've come all this way i seriously don't have a thermometer or a barometer we don't know the temperature we actually don't know the temperature did i put one on somewhere else have i hidden it i don't think i did i hide it is it hidden uh, what are you? you you integral integral tanks right okay so that's just silly now then isn't it so what we've done is we've we've missed out on some science there Missed out on some significant, well, I don't think it's significant, but we've missed out on some science there because we could have put more could have put more in instruments on this. So maybe we'll go and alter the other two craft to actually add a bit more science on them. That might be an idea, actually. That might be a good idea. Put a bit more science on them. If they're going to land and we can gather it. Right. Now, next thing. Um, we're actually going to put this thing back into orbit because it needs to, it needs to do some science in orbit. It has not done that. So we're going to just... Uh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this manually. Fire it, fire it up. Here we go. Look at that. Oof. Look at that. The speed at which it climbs. What's its, uh, what's its half laps and periaps? Has it actually got one? Can I? I'm. The thing is, it's so small. I can't, I can't move this in any further. So I can't actually see. Does it get? Has it got a periaps? What, oh yeah. We, we do. We do. We do. Right. So it's, it's apoaps is. I don't know what the apoaps I need to put it on is. Maybe twenty five kilometers. Yeah, I think it's gonna have to be. Um, we'll take it up a bit and then I think what I'll do is I will, uh, that's going straight up. So I want to go, um, which way do I want to go? I think I want to go to the 90. Yeah, let's go to the 90 and just, then that'll put me in a semi, semi sort of normal orbit. I could go polar. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to go, we're going to go polar just because I think polar would be quite amusing. Um, so there we go. We're just going to pull it up. We'll go into a polar orbit, I think, is what we'll do. Um, as if we were as if we were studying the surface. At least then it looks a bit more like it would. Obviously, I don't believe there are biomes anymore on Phobos Deimos. Probably shouldn't have been any to start with. Uh, oh, bit of, bit of engine fire there that I shouldn't have done. I'll do it again. That's good. Right, and we'll go to go to there. Do, 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 do. And then we're going to go prograde. And then I, I wonder if I could do this with the RCS. I think I probably can, can I? But that 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 way leads to madness. So we'll just do a, an engine burn, I think. Just get an engine burn, get us into the polar orbit. There we go. Wonderful. 12 by 9. I am happy with that. Turn that off. Right, let's have a look. What are we getting? Are we getting data? Are we getting some data? Uh, we are. The mass spec has insufficient. Why? What do I need for the mass spec? What What is the requirement? Minimum eccentricity, 0.1. Oh, well, I can I can fix that, I think. Turn that on, turn that on. What's that do? There we go, there we go, that's perfect. That's that's fixed that one. Right, that was easy. Um, so that's mass spec. Uh, so is there a high space? Like, we'll leave this here, but is there a high space around, um, around four boss? I wonder if there is. That's going to take 90 days. Hey, hello. Thank you. That's going to take 90 days. That's six days. So this thing, if we uh, turn off all the stuff, what's our charge looking like? We are eating battery, but we have the secret tool, which is we can turn off the avionics. There we go. Is that going to help us? Oh, we're transmitting. So that's going to eek, eek away at that battery a little bit. That's not a big issue. It will just, uh, it'll go into to warning. And oh, that's going to annoy me actually thinking about it. So what we will do is, where is it? Uh, show vessel, yeah, battery, get away. Get away, all of those things. So we're going to get rid of that warning so it doesn't happen. Right, so this is now, this is now going to stay here around Phobos. There we go, hello Phobos, how are we doing? Um, it will stay here around Phobos um, and gather the sciences. Um, and that should be the end of the, uh, the episode, but it's not going to be because... 
we have another one we've got to deal with. Yeah, that's right. We're going to do the same with the Demos craft. Hello, thank you. Why are you not showing up Demos craft? Where? Yeah, Demos is bigger. It is bigger, isn't it? Um, you were a lander, weren't you? I'd renamed you as a lander. So where's the, no, that's not you. Where's, where is that? Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Let's switch to you. I should actually rename the other one to the full boss pathfinder. Um, we, of course, could have to number them as well. Oh dear, that's terrible. Right, so this thing should have now done all of its science. And before I do anything, we're going to turn off the battery supply thing there. We're going to go over to here, have a look at the uh, thing here. That's not valid. Those are completed. Wonderful. Data's done. Uh, let's have a look. Do I want to... It's rename this while we're here. So rename. Where are we? Where's my rename button? There we go. So this is definitely going to be a relay now of some sort. And it's going to be Pathfinder Demos 1. Because we are actually going to have to send another one. Okay. Now, this one we're going to try and... You know what? Let's do the same thing. Let's see if we can actually... Can we take off with... See, this feels the same. What's the thrust on this? 2000... I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look on the video now. I can't remember which one actually seems best. But they both seem very easy to get into orbit off, don't they? They just seem to... Dude, I think I think I think Demos is the one I like the most just because I think I prefer the name, if anything. Uh, let's have a look. What's our our apps, periaps, all that sort of stuff? We'll put this into an orbit as well of some sort. We'll go up to about there, um, and then I want to go. Let's go polar as well with this one. Let us go polar. Let's get to the polarness. Now I have to be careful. I don't go polar too quickly on this because I could end up. I could end up going into the side of a mountain. I just realized with the last one that uh, we did it. We did it. We thrusted sideways, but I didn't actually look at where the craft was pointing at the time. Um, not so much a problem with Demos, but yeah, you, you could get an easily get a ridge there, couldn't you? Right. Um, let's let's do this to uh, a little bit of burning. There we go. Get that going up. Um, how high do we want our periaps to be? Or apwaps even. Um do I want to go up to 5? 10? 5? Something? Yeah, let's let's do that. That's that's nice and high. Uh, warp there. Put me in prograde when we get there. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just... Uh, oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that lovely? In a map view. Um, all right. So we're going to put this one into a little polar orbit as well. You need, you're probably thinking, why polar? Well... Polar firstly, because I think it looks more realistic. If you were scanning the surfaces with these craft and you were trying to sort of, you had cameras and stuff pointed at them, you would be you'd be in polar because you want to get as much different surface area as possible. If you could gain to polar easily, that is the quest, the, the, the important bit. Um whoopsies, too far, turn round. Um Alternatively, if you went sort of equatorially just for communications, wonderful, but you're not, you're gonna lose quite a bit there, I think. Uh, yeah, note to self, don't don't use the main engines, I think is what we've now learned. Uh so yeah, we were using RCS to put ourselves yeah, I think I think I think this is the smaller of the two. Uh right, let's have a look. Are we getting data from all of these things? They are all running. Right, what I'm gonna do is gonna take this down until one of them stops. Because we want to get it as close to the 0.1 as possible. Yeah, too far. There we go. Right. So now they're running as well. So now we've got this. These chunks of data. So we, so we should be getting oh, 60 for this, 60 for the other. So another 100 and, 120, 104, 130 maybe. I have to do the numbers that we're expecting. What have we got so far? 200. So we've got uh, we've got a fair bit of data coming in now. And of course, these will act as relays. Uh, one of the reasons for just leaving them in orbit instead of on the surface is they're not going to give me anything else on the surface. They're going to act as temporary relays um, in this plane. And so we've now got this, this, this. If we actually, can we... Yeah, so you can see here we've now got we've now got the ability to bounce signal. Okay, um, if I put all of them on, you can see we are bouncing signal around Mars, which is good. It means I don't have to actually build a communication system if we send, or I shouldn't have to build a communication system if we send landers there. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Probably, probably not. Probably, maybe. Right. So I think that is us done for this episode. What on earth is that? Oh, we are visiting that thing. Oh, yes. You know what? That was the end of the episode. It's not anymore. Wait, is that... Seriously? That's... The, yeah. Am I coming towards it? Oh, I am. Oh, we are, we are landing there. 
are you even are you is that is that the that's the top isn't it there's a there's a there's a height map issue is that it there you know what yeah go for it uh retrograde yes we are uh, we're gonna do that i would like to land on the spike is that the spike there or is that just a shadow is that a shadow well we'll find out right is that it come on right we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go and see a spike i mean <laughs> Supposed to be a sensible series, sea monster. It's supposed to be a sensible series. There we go. Hold it. Hold it. Ooh, are we coming in towards the spike? I need to. Right, that's my tap. Can I? Can I? Oh, I don't have a mod that does that, do I? Can I? Ooh, land at. Where's the landing one? Where's the landing, landing, landing guidance? Okay. Where's my Where's my coordinates? Um. Land somewhere. Pick target on map. Um, I can't see where it is. There, here, up here, up there. No, no, this way, this way, uh, this way. One, one ninety, one ninety, one eighty. I want about one eighty. Ooh, that's difficult, isn't it? Um, sure landing prediction. Where is my current landing prediction? 8120. Uh okay. Can it does it show me on here? Oh we seem to be we seem to be orientating interestingly. I wanna go I wanna go that way. That way. That's the way I wanna go. Is that what I wanna do is I wanna do that. There we go, that's it. That's nice. I think that's good. Right, turn off the RCS for a minute. Right, let's, uh, you know what, this episode's just turned silly all of a sudden, hasn't it? Can I, can I get closer? Um, yeah, note to self, don't get carried away. This is when we crash. Oh, that's cool. Right, we're going to just uh, do that, turn the RCS on. And then I want to go, uh, no, that way, no, not that way, that, that way, and that way. Uh, no, I want to actually... Uh, roller craft, roller craft, please. There we go. That's it. I want to go that way. There we go. And then I want to go like that, maybe. No, I want to do that and a bit of a bit of that. There it is. Get get that on there. That's it. Right. Let's just speed this up a bit. Oh no, need a bit. Need a bit more upwards. Up you go. Up you go. Go. Um, where's my? Oh, I know what I want. Where are we? Um. Uh, surface, surface. I want to be, um, I want to be heading up. Roll pictures 90. Yeah, make it, make, make, make it happen. Make it occur. And I want to drift towards that is what I actually want to do. I'm going to just pull us just uh, like so. There we go. And I think, I think we're going that way. No. Nope. Uh, that no that way go that way uh that way and and that way that's the way i want to go yeah that's it that's it right um speed you up a bit can i just can i just get closer there we go ooh ooh the, the to those of you that are really bored right now you can actually just skip to the end of the episode i'm just going to see if we can actually get close to this this is this is intriguing me now Ooh, look at it. Look at that spike. I wonder if you could land on the top of it. Now, this, this of course, is, is dangerous. This is what's going to be a problem. Uh, hello? Why is my RCS not working? Oh, because I'm in speedy time warp, that's why. Um, let's go a bit up a bit, please. Oh, and of course, just at that moment, just at the moment, the most important moment. How close am I? I feel as though I'm close. Right, there we go. Right, and then I want to continue warping towards it. Am I am I moving towards it? I think I am. I think we're getting towards it right now. Um Right, we're just moving very slowly. Right, okay, and then I want to a bit more a bit more height, I think is what was required. We need to put us on surface bit. Yeah, there we go. I want to go up. Oh can we can we so how high is that? Okay, so that's that's okay. 
Oh, we're actually going up, aren't we? All right. And then um, I want to do a bit of that. I think I need to do a bit of that to put myself on the line, as it were. All right, let's go a bit more. Oh, hello, we've got the sun coming out. How wonderful. Right, let's have a look. This is there's a big dimple there. Is there, is there normally a dimple there? I'm going to pull this down a bit. We're going to put it down because I think we're well over. Oh, we've got a freeze moment. Right, we're well over the top now. We're well over the top. Right, okay. Let's see, a bit more, a bit more thrusting. Di Hello. What's my... What's my vertical velocity? Do I have that? I don't have that one. That would be really useful to actually have right now, wouldn't it? All right, I'm going down. Okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Here we go. Oh, hello. Hello. Look at you. Of course, it's dark when we get to this point, isn't it? Now, can I just hold you a bit? All right. I want to pull up. And oh, this is oh, this is interesting. Oh, hello. That is cool. And we've done a, we've done basically a rotate round there. So uh, I want to go. I want to go like that. Yeah, I want to go. Uh, the problem is I can't target it. So we're gonna we're gonna end up in a horrible situation um, where I'm just gonna go round and round and round. So we're gonna put this we're gonna put this thing we're gonna put this thing into orbit um, with a bit of that. There we go. That kicked me up. Yes, it has. Okay, we're going to put you up a bit. Uh, do that, and then we're going to put it in orbit, and that's going to be the end of the episode. I think we don't need to do that. So that was interesting. So that's that's the little spike at the top of Phobos. I would imagine that has actually been fixed in future in, in 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 versions. I don't know if it has or not. I've never seen it before. How how wonderful. Um, we'll just do that. And which is that? That's oh, that's a yeah. That's that's going to be a, a fine one. Just do that. Right. So yeah, there's the, the spike at the top of Phobos. I have not seen it before. I did not know it was there. Um, and that's going to be it for the episode. I think I will I will put this into um, into into orbit with without you all having to watch it uh, because you've seen me do it before already. Um, so from me, until next time, have a great one.